hey guys just out walking the dogs still and it's time for another game and I'm gonna be going through a couple of dark patches soon not a problem. there's a lot of trees just here shading my light so I am still here even if I'm just a black corner in the in the well if I'm a black square in the corner I should say not a black corner um, but here we go Y H J and he's just got like a just like hey I want to use my the grass mods that I have and he got the EX from the last banner so the thing the thing about gyms is you can especially with ones like grass mons a lot of them are so dangerous um gold rock max revive all right a lot of them are so dangerous that you've got to try you you have to respect what what there is um, he's uh, obviously lost some like i had i had a hard start and mainly because um, of my plays of a few plays that i've made so I'm trying to rectify that. I'm just going to go straight up here. If he attacks and I get my gold, that's going to be a straight, easy win. Um, I hope this. Uh, there's no lots of noise damage. And lots of noise damage. <laughs> lots of uh, wind noise, I should say. Um, but I'm just going to run up now and try to threaten him. And he's doing exactly what I'd be doing if I was him. And look at this. My dog's just found a stick to walk. <laughs> um, but Phantom, I'm gonna go for my defense and then I'll send Bully out. But he's not even gonna go for it. Does he have a long throw? Can I potentially take. Is he a long throw or. I'm just gonna go out with Toad. If he wants to come and take my entry point, I want to better poison him. Um, but we'll see what he wants to do with his gore I was surprised at his defending there. Um, all right, Lilligant comes out. Lilligant cannot be confused, so she's actually a really good matchup for Phantoms. And if we get damage on damage and she double spins, then that's not going to be good for me. So I could actually potentially. Uh, like anytime you see a blaze or combustion, you know, just like DOA, just like the DOA in my earlier games, I've got to respect it. It can easily run through someone, someone's whole team. If it goes down and goes cyclone kicking the whole way down the board, then I'm in some trouble. So let's see what he wants to do. He's he's taking his time, and now he's set up a surround on my phantom which isn't good oh bumpy vibrations okay that couldn't have gone any better now he cannot go and surround phantom and i can get half my out oh i haven't got my phantom my phantom energy on so i still won't be able to do it straight away but at least he is poisoned so i want to get my phantom out of there and i'm just going to back him right up so back him up and then I can drop my phantom and get the surround or well it'll just be a poison kill not even a surround <laughs> so it's gonna be worth it anyway this is I need to slow down my game like this not rush and by doing this I should be able to get my wins back up to where I should be playing it um, that that second game on my first when I first when the grass gym first dropped and that second game where I just rushed up with uh, Bulu and got a miss. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that anymore. Because, yes, he is a level 3 for me. And he still does have a lot of miss. He needs to be level 9 before I'd even attempt doing that again. So, there we go. There is the Gengar kill. I'm uh, just going to go for the mono advantage now. I've got all my mons. He's one down. Um, usually, I'd like to try and wait it out before I did things like that but I also want to I can't be confused there we go so he can't be confused but I also want to just conserve and make the best matchups that I can 
so my three star is what I'm looking for here or hoping that he doesn't uh, he doesn't get max revive coming down wow I didn't expect that to happen and that's not exactly the place I'll put it either so that's interesting I suppose he doesn't want to get it poisoned if he comes down that toad but why not in the middle I don't get that maybe if I move Gengar away he's preparing for that anyway I don't know he moves the bird into the middle, so I can't move forward like I want to. I want to try and go and attack either Septol or Septol Grovol or Hello. So I'm just going to jump back with my Phantom now. Let's get manoeuvring. Let's outmaneuver somebody. Let's set up the board so well. Uh -oh. See, now this, even this guy is playing so well. And who knows? Sometimes it can even be AI. Sometimes it's not. He hasn't given anything. I don't think it's AI. He's taking his time just like I am, so he's not playing super fast. Um, can you guys hear those noisy cars? There's a few people racing from their one. But, it's uh, pretty chilly night. Hopefully I can win this. I just need to get, alright, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that purple. I would have loved this um, uh, white on white without him getting a crazy spin. That would have been nice, but I'll definitely take the weight. So now is the. I'm gonna probably move my Phantom. That'll probably be my best option right about now. And if he attacks into me, there's one of the cars. <laughs> um, if he attacks into me, and well, that happens. Alright, well, I, was, I obviously wasn't hoping for that. And that's one downside of the Phantoms is that if they risk it and they get the third of his wheel that is white, then that's going to happen. Uh, if I don't get, if I get one of the other two thirds, so it's still a majority uh, wheel is going to be good for me. But it's one of those things you can't predict every roll. So I've got to deal with this, and now I'm just going to try and start cycling. Ah, oh, I wanted to hopefully get an explode or something. Or <laughs> this just went from me doing well to me making some bad decisions. So I said I wasn't going to rush this. Okay, I need to calm myself down. Calm myself down and make a better play. So let's get poisoning. He came down at me. I can poison him. And let's poison Mons. If he takes Gengar out, at least I get a Phantom. And I can always max revive Gengar. So a good position for him to be in at the moment would potentially be going down to attack my Phantom. But I don't know if he will. Yeah, so the guaranteed surround is a given. That is a good choice. Um, but now I want to try and take his entries and start to lock him down and then I can always get my phantoms and any of my ghosts and my PC right now out because he's got a poisoned mon and oh, okay so he could have done this last turn but he, I mean he, he granted he got the surround that he wanted so he's looking to get move Lilligant down but instead of allowing him doing to do that if he brings Lilligant down I'm gonna match with him and surround him and I just try and all right so he sees that yeah so he's actually a quite a decent player even if he doesn't have all the best mons he is a quite a decent player so he's able to see things and I just I just need to get some mono advantage right about now I'm at a terrible disadvantage and now at least we're even got ourselves back to even and I'll take even for now attack with Lilligan which is interesting so either hoping to put me asleep or KO me but oh yes I'll definitely take that right about now I'm just gonna see if I can the wind's getting strong oh KO my own Bolu and see there we go his miss is affecting me once again um, which is a bit of a shame so now I've got a I didn't want that to happen I've burnt my max revive too so I've got to play super smart, super smart. So the way I can do that, none of his can move over me at the moment where I've got the advantage of my ghosts. So 
All right, how do I, how is the best way to do this? Probably my Phantom off the goal. I've got Mega Genga and I've got my other Phantom to cover. And this Phantom can still get back if it doesn't get knocked down. But, yeah, we'll see what happens with it, if it gets knocked down or not. Um, but I'm just going to shout it down here from the wind for a little bit. So Grovol comes down looking for that Evo Interceptor. And, oh, wow, that was nearly gold. And that wouldn't have been good. So the bonus here is I can get the surround. So since he didn't knock me out, surround coming. He gets his Gorgos back, but I'd actually rather have a Gorgos on the field, even though he can move over me, than a Sceptile. So he's got he's got to move now, and and with him moving, he can. Uh, he, he he had a chance to try and take me out. Um, now, with my Phantom up on his entry, I can potentially uh, Mega Gengar. I can potentially Mega Gengar into into his entry, his top entry. And if I can Mega Gengar into his top entry and lock him down, if he goes one off his entry, I'll definitely do that. So let's see what he wants to do here. Um, we're pretty close on time, down to the two minutes already. We're both taking a lot of time actually, and <laughs> that's one bad thing about doing this where I am. Is this one is wanting some cuddles? Oh, while I'm here, why not? And that one is eating a stick. <laughs> um, wow, this guy's taking a long time. He's not sure what to do, or he's just busy, like I kind of am. But. I'd expect to see possibly Gorgos running down the side or down in front of Gengar. There we go. So he's he's moving. He's on it now. And because that's happening, I need to make sure I'm defending well enough. So I'm actually going to bring Toad back. And if I can bring Toad back and defend with him, then I, I need to make sure I'm playing defensive enough. So now I can bring my Phantom back onto my goal. And if I bring it onto my goal, I can potentially, depending on what he does, I'm guessing he's going to take my other entry. I can potentially um, take Toad over, tap his his pumpkin. And if I tap his pumpkin, then, yeah, there we go, entry. So now I can tap his pumpkin, poison it, get it into a position where I can step over it, Mega Gengar, and head up to his goal. His, his entry and potentially take out ho -Oh as well so if I can do that take get a, get a double kill then that'll be amazing and toad is still there to defend the goal so let's see let us see if that is going to work for me someone wants to say hello hello mister so yeah he takes that surround I thought that might have been coming so I'm going to have to now step back over, as long as I survive this. And I don't. Okay. Well, I was planning if I, if I survived it, I could have stepped back over him and taken Gorgos out. And still be able to just jump on the goal if I got taken out the next turn, just in case. Um, but now is my only chance and I have to do this. I've got to go for the Mega Gengar. Double kill. Okay, that actually really hurt me more than I was expecting. Um, I, I, I wasn't wanting my Phantom to go down there early, but as I said, when I moved it up to Ho, -Oh, when I moved them up to everywhere else, they don't want to survive. Um, he's down to a minute, so I've only got to survive one minute now. Wow, pulling the Gorgas out. So I'm just gonna now pull out to my blue because. Uh, my Gorgos can come out if he has his Gorgos on my entries. And it looks like he's going to try and move down to get his other mons that are not poisoned out onto his entries. So he's got a minute left and I've got to play smart with my last one. Uh, and what is the smartest choice? I think is to start threatening him. If I, I want to try and get an explode. Alright, I'll take a gold on a rainbow wing. I'll definitely take that. Um... And then I can cover up his entries, which is good. And if his Gorgos comes at me and we uh, mirror sync rolls, then his is poisoned, so I've got the advantage. 
so this could actually end up quite well as long as but see that bird if it's rolling purple on my white he can knock everything out if I'm not rolling blues and that is one there's so many nasty effects like that now in the current meta which he's waiting for my get me again get to go down so I'm just gonna go block him off make sure he can't get any more mines out and hopefully my two can defend 44 seconds I need that to happen I really do what, what one thing I could do is get my Bulu to attack that Gorgas and hope for an explosion because if he gets an explosion then he's gonna have only two mons left on the board one that he can't move and one that he's gonna be forced to attack with so oh, a long throw okay well this is gonna be a little bit longer than I thought <laughs> it's got 30 seconds left so I am now I am now just gonna get some cuddles from my dog and I'm gonna swap spot and I want to get into a place where I can step back on gold if I need to and attack and I can also step over his Gorgais and take it out but the downside is that if I do that and then the next turn he takes me out GG for him and not me so I've got 25 seconds 25 seconds left to survive so let's give this a go I've, I've been punished before for not defending enough not being in a position where I can defend um, and this is one of those positions I get myself into so as long as I don't get knocked out right now I should be alright alright he doesn't even see that he if he took out even tried to take out my, my Bulu um, I've got a lot of miss he can roll his purple and potentially get me taken out that swingy throw is the one that can do it so I, I, I actually can't attack him if I attack him on my turn and he knocks me out it's game so I've actually just got to move over and defend with him again bring him back into a defensive position he's got 17 seconds I've got a minute so I can take my time a little bit I want I really really want to attack but it's one of those things that if you attack it's going to be that one time that you attack that one roll that's going to be good for him so and now he sees it oh man now if he did that last turn that would have been GG and this, see and this is what I mean he can still take me out now with 14 seconds left man this is this is scary and to lose <laughs> this is what I'm saying um, this is what I mean Oh, okay. Whew, I needed that. I needed that. Now he's got 12. I've got 12 seconds to defend the goal. And this is, this is, an, I'm, a minute, I'm in a much better position. <laughs> I want to say move those toads out. And try and, okay. Well, there we go. He can just give the game up to me then. He didn't even try with the Grovol, and <laughs> there we go. Because that wasn't a good position for him. That was just a, like a last minute move, and I'll take that with Gorgais. Thank you, Gorgais. Thank you, guys. See that? Any grass team can win it. You, if, if you place well and play well, even that guy, he played well. So, never know what the RNG is going to do to you. And I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And yeah, definitely check in soon. There's going to be. As I said before, lots of this gym and other decks too. I've been testing a lot of decks, so hope you guys are interested. And look, wait for, can't wait for some more. So see you all soon.